fried chicken is like sex, you know, you feel so good in the moment and afterwards it's a little bit depressing. Hello, I'm Phil Wang and this is Rankety Rank for Comic Relief. Today, I will be ranking takeaways. I'm a big fan of takeaways because I love food, but I don't like doing anything. So takeaways are ideal for me. Obviously over the lockdown takeaways, you know, they became even more important than they were before. And I didn't help a single soul in, throughout the entire pandemic. I didn't help, I mean, help anyone. But then takeaways, they were like, quick, these restaurants are gonna go under unless you order. So I started ordering takeaways and I was like, I'm helping. Um, I felt like I was keeping the country afloat single-handedly. So at basic, and I don't mean this as a slight to kebabs, because I owe kebabs a lot. Um, they're the only thing ever open, but I'm gonna go basic just because I've had so many in my life. They're basically just like uh, rice to me or substance, sustenance. I'm gonna put the burger on basic because I, I never, I never get a burger. I never, I rarely get an off-brand burger. That's a scary proposition. I'm going to put, okay, I'm gonna put pizza in basic as well. Because like a pizza you can just get from the supermarket and put in the oven yourself. And I know, yeah, you can make all the food yourself, Phil. Yeah, but whatever. But, but I feel like there's very little difference between like a takeaway pizza that's brought to your door and one that you just get from the supermarket and just put in your oven whenever you want. I'm going to have to put pizza down there. And I must say, sushi has never looked so appetizing. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, I won't even touch a nigiri unless it's pixelated. <laughs> and this is going to uh, spread out the cultural uh, outrage. Uh, sushi is going basic. I, lo I like sushi, but it has to be in the restaurant to be getting good sushi. The lofty heights of good. I want to put fish and chips. I love a fish and chips. It makes me proud to be uh, fat. Um, and it's a good a source of iodine fish. Also in good, I'm going to put the humble curry. Uh, thank you for your hard work, curry, over the, the decades. We appreciate it. Uh, but uh, it's not always worth not being able to sleep for five hours. So I'm going to put curry on good. I'm going to put, yeah, I'll put, I guess I'll put tacos. I, I'm going to put Mexican in good because in the UK it's hard to get uh, good Mexican because we're very far from the border. Um, now, top tier, great tier. This is where it starts to get tough. So, uh, Thai, Chinese. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Do I, you know, do I go fragrant? Do I honor my ancestors? Okay, this might be controversial. This is gonna be controversial. Thai, fragrant, tasty, varied. Feels like it's good for you, probably isn't. Chinese, the big daddy, Asia classic, TM. But at the top tier, and this is, a, you know, it's a confluence of taste, affordability, uh, convenience, satisfaction, excitement. It is fried chicken. Nothing is as good as fried chicken. It, it, it's crispy, it's got texture, it's full of protein, it's good for you. It's not, I lied. I just love fried chicken so, so much. And it makes me feel only a bit sick afterwards. But balanced against how good you feel in the moment. Fried chicken is like sex, you know? You feel so good in the moment. And afterwards, it's a little bit depressing. And there's a mess that should be cleaned up now, but you leave it till the morning. But you still keep coming back. You, f you forget the bad parts of it um, because the good parts are so good. Uh, and that's fried chicken. So there we are, that's the rankings of takeaways. Thank you for watching Rankity Rank for Comic Relief. Uh, let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments. I won't read any of them.